Hi guys, in this lecture I am going to tell you the rotational systems. In the previous lectures we discussed already about the translation systems and now we will start rotational systems. Before going to the solving one example of rotational system, we have to know the some basic differences between translational motion and rotational motion. So, rotational system, translational system, there are two systems in mechanically. So, already we know that the translational system. So, translational system consists mass, friction, spring. These are the opposing forces elements and the, this is the applied force and displacement is x, velocity v dx by dt, acceleration. These are uh, all are linear elements. Linear elements means linear displacement, linear velocity, linear acceleration. So, this is uh, the linear system. Now, coming to the rotational system, so in the place of mass, we have to take the moment of inertia j, friction is m, spring, but in the place of force, applied force in the linear system, but coming to the rotational system, applied torque is there, that is tau, tau or t. Okay. Coming to the displacement, there is a linear displacement in the translational system, but here there is a angular displacement. It is indicated by theta. Angular velocity omega is equal to d theta by dt. Angular acceleration alpha is equal to d omega by dt, d square theta by dt square. Okay, this is the difference between translational and rotational. Okay, so everything, all the procedure is same. There are small differences only. Those are indications theta, j, like omega. These are the difference between two systems. So, opposing torque due to moment of inertia, Tj is equal to, like that in the translation system, translation system Fm is equal to, what is the expression? M into d square x by dt square. So, from the above expression, we can write j into d square in the place of x we have to write theta by d t t square. Now t b. t b is equal to b into d theta by d t. t k is equal to opposing torque due to spring is equal to k into theta. This is the applied torque. Right. These are the expressions. For better understanding, we will solve this problem. This is the basic simple problem in rotation systems. So, this is the reference. This is spring constant k, frictional constant b, moment of inertia j, applied torque t of t, t of t, angular displacement theta of t. So, first of all coming to the question transfer function. Transfer function means Laplace transformation of output to the Laplace transformation of the input. Like that in the previous uh, transition systems, we have to identify the input and output because there is no data in the question. Input is applied torque T of T. Output is angular displacement theta of T. Now what happens? The Laplace transformation of the output is theta of S. Laplace transformation of the input is T of S. Okay. We have to find the transfer function between theta of S and T of S. Now, come, now we will move to the solution. First of all, identify the number of moment of inertia S. Like in the previous transition systems, we have to identify the masses, number of mass blocks. But here, number of moment of inertia. There is a one moment of inertia block. Take the moment of inertia block. Now identify the applied torques and opposing torques. Applied torque T, opposing torques are due to spring Tk, due to friction Tb, due to moment of inertia Tj. Now, we have to write the Newton's second law. So, opposing torques, sum of the opposing torques is equal to sum of the applied torques. So, sum of the applied torques T is equal to opposing torques are Tk plus Tb plus Tj. Now, we have to find the torque equations. Already in the previous slide, I told you Tk is equal to k into theta, Tb is equal to b into d theta by dt, Tj is equal to j into d square theta by dt square. 
that is equal to k theta plus b d theta by dt plus j d square theta by dt square. Now apply Laplace transformation to the above expression. Then T of s is equal to k into theta of s plus b s into theta of s plus j s square into theta of s. Now take the common term that is theta of s then the expression will be k plus b s plus j s square. What is the our question theta of s by t of s? Then the expression will be 1 divided by j s square plus b s plus k. This is the transfer function for the given system. This is a simple rotation system. Okay, In the next lecture we will discuss the some more difficult rotation system. Okay, thanks for watching this video. If, if you have any doubt in this concept, please comment in the comment box. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next lecture.